Hey guys, I hope you're having a safe and happy holidays from wherever you are in the world. I have a, another end of the year present for you guys with the 73 question interview series in the form of a compilation from all 26 of my interviews that I've done over 2021. This series has by far been the most fun to do and I think has been the most popular with you guys and each guest that answers questions has something particular to say that I think you really need to hear, but I agree, they're pretty long. So I actually condensed just one important question that I think you guys need to listen to. I think you'll be interested in hearing. That question in this compilation is, I always let them try to sell their specialty to you. So I'll ask like the internal med doctor, why should you be an internal med physician? And I think that's a really good selling point. And for anybody kind of in med school or in the pre-med process, who's kind of confused, wondering, is this field right for me? I think this video is the one for you. I took every doctor's response, put it nice and easy into one video. All of the chapters will be linked in the description. So if there is a specific specialty that you are interested in, go down there, find it. So that way you don't have to sift through the entire 30 minute interview that I've done. Uh, or if you have no idea what you wanna specialize in, watch them all and see if one fits your personality. This is just, again, another huge thank you for all the support uh, that you've given towards this channel and towards the interview series over the past year. And this is my little gift to you. So happy holidays again, and hope you enjoy. Why should someone choose your specialty? They should choose my specialty if they are attracted to it. The thing about choosing a specialty or subspecialty is that it really needs to fit your personality. And there, there's really no best specialty or best subspecialty. It's what matches your personality, what matches your interests best. And so what you should be doing during your medical school years is looking at the various specialties and subspecialties during especially your junior and senior year and trying to figure out what is the best match for you. I think I could have been happy in just about any specialty uh, with a couple of possible exceptions, but I think I could have been happy in just about any of them. But what was the best match for me? Pediatrics, I have no regrets about going into pediatrics. I, I think that, that was a great choice for me. Pediatric emergency medicine, no question that was a great choice for me. Why should someone choose your specialty? I think everybody should be a surgeon um, because it's just the most fun. Why would somebody choose your specialty, per se? Um, I think anybody who wants to choose pediatrics, you're really going to have to love preventative medicine, for one. Um, so, you know, pediatrics is preventative medicine. Um, you know, we see a lot of checkups and um, try to prepare people for what's coming next and protect children from, you know, disease and whatnot. I think that's what you gotta love. Preventative medicine, you've gotta love kids. I mean, um, so if screaming children doesn't, uh, if that puts you off a lot, then you're probably not going to uh, enjoy uh, a day in the clinic because sometimes our halls sound like, uh, like the London Tower about the time of Henry VIII, I think. Um, occasionally, there's a lot of screaming. Um, but, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of joy too. I don't, I don't mean to <laughs> make it sound abysmal. <laughs> Why should someone choose your specialty? I always tell my students that rotate with me, I feel like I have the best specialty ever. I love what I do. It is the, by far the best choice. And I think a lot of that stems from the variety that we have in our, our specialty. As I said, the age groups that you see, you end up being the, the specialist for their entire family, to be the surgeon for the entire family and build those relationships. So those are some of the things I love. Why should someone choose your specialty? I love talking to people. I love patient encounters. Um, and it's just very fulfilling, like from a, from a um, intellectual standpoint, I love thinking through a puzzle and coming up with the solutions to it. And sometimes the unknown and figuring out what the problem is. Why should someone choose your specialty? If you want to come into a field where you can um, 
learn how to take care of patients in the operating room, but also do a, a fellowship in regional pain, learning how to do pain blocks to help with the pain service or chronic pain and procedures or pediatrics or um, critical care. It gives you a lot of different options, but every day doesn't look the same. Or you can even do have a practice where you do two weeks where you're in the operating room and two weeks maybe you're an ICU doctor or a pain doctor. Okay. Why should ch someone choose your specialty? I think, you know, if people see the value in children and taking care of a kid, and if someone uh, likes to problem solve and, and, and try to kind of restore, you know, a, a kid's livelihood, I think that's what they would, that's what would drive them to do peds orthopedics. Why should someone choose your specialty? Hmm. Well, I already said it's the best. <laughs> um, you know, as far as family and lifestyle, it's a pretty good option. Um, sometimes we do take call as residents, but, you know, not as much call as maybe some other specialties. So, you know, still plenty of time to have a life outside of work. Um, and every dermatologist I know is happy, happy with their job. They love what they do. They love the patients. So, yeah. Oh gosh, it's, it's real-time medicine. Like I said, it's very engaging and it's just the perfect mix of being able to work with your hands, but also being able to, uh, you know, work with uh, your brain and being able to problem solve. Why should someone choose your specialty? So urology is a great mix of a clinic practice and an OR practice. Again, we've got some amazing technology to use. Uh, the, the toys we have can't be beat by any other specialty. Um, and we enjoy going to work every day. I mean, we're, we're a group of people that choose this because it's fun. I mean, nobody chooses to work with genitalia every day just because, um, you know, it's gonna give them a great reputation. It's because they enjoy that practice. Work is fun. Why should someone choose your specialty? Because you get to do amazing procedures under image guidance and get to work with some of the fanciest equipment out there. Why should someone choose your specialty? I think someone should choose OB because you get to really impact um, women and we're really in an age where women have been marginalized for so many years and now we're seeing advancements in, um, in, the, in the field of women's health and just for women in general. And I think that to be in a field where you can be part of that is very powerful. And then also you get to bring life into the world and be a part of very special moments. And so what better field is there? Why should someone choose your specialty? First of all, it's a growing field, so you will always have a job. There are a ton of baby boomers that are aging at the same time, so there's a big need for neurologists. Um, young patients, old patients, everyone needs a neurologist, and um, we treat a lot of very common problems like headaches. So you will always have a job, um, and hopefully our, um, our salaries will be increasing as that happens as well. Um, and I think that there are a lot of different opportunities. Um, it used to be combined with internal medicine and you, um, a lot of people like internal medicine because you can go into a lot of different specialties, but with neurology too, um, there's so many different subspecialties that you can go into and you can kind of generate the practice of your dreams. Why should someone choose pathology? So if you take the time and Google and you look for um, questions like which uh, posi or physician is most satisfied with their job choice, pathology oftentimes ranks at the very highest of that. We are very happy with our job choice. If you ask most pathologists, they wouldn't have chosen anything else. Um, we have less burnout, less fatigue. We can work for longer if we so choose. We have very good work-life balance. And for what we do, we're paid very well. So I think it's a great uh, position in that regard. And it's a lot of fun. It's constantly changing. Why should someone choose infectious disease? Okay. Well, if, as I said, if you like trying to figure out what the diagnosis is, that's a good specialty for you because every patient is a puzzle. Not all patients are the same and they have different ways of giving you a history. So you've got to try to get to the bottom of what's, what's going on. You need to know what, where they've been, what, what their profession is, have they traveled, you know, the, those kind of things. You've got to kind of put all the pieces together. Why should someone choose your specialty? I think gastroenterology, again, I'm going to refer back to the, the diversity of gastroenterology, which really appeals to me. And I think anyone who wants to have a diverse kind of day-to-day -day life, uh, whether that's something that they're going to have procedures 
one day and then they're gonna be in clinic the next day or they're gonna be treating diseases that might just need to come in and you just get one treatment or one procedure and then you're good for the rest of your life versus someone who needs to come in and see a GI doctor every six months. Someone who likes to have a lot of variety in their day-to-day -day is really gonna enjoy GI. Um, and I think that's, that's what's really exciting about the specialty. Why should someone choose emergency medicine? I think if you like to be a team leader, you like a fast pace, you like procedures, and you like to kind of think about medicine in a different way, this could be the job for you. Uh, all of our colleagues try to diagnose things, and it's kind of a weird way to think about it, but we're really less worried about the diagnosis and more worried about the ruling out of conditions. So you think about things from a different lens in that you can't send someone home with something that could kill them. And so we are trying to decide through decision rules and imaging studies and lab values that you don't have some type of a life-threatening condition. And if you do, we may have to admit you. I'm not gonna sell psych because psych is not like, it's not for everybody. There are many people that come to medical school, they wanna do surgery, they wanna go in the OR. Psych is not for you if that's what you want. I got in the OR, like I said, and it was miserable. I don't like being cold. I don't like holding my pee. I like having my own office where patients come to see me and I help them. So you gotta decide if you wanna do like OR surgery type stuff or something else. For me, it was something else. These days with, with telepsychiatry and you know, I could work from my own home. I could see people and help them with their mental health. I could prescribe. I don't have to go in person and prescribe and give them medication. It's all remote. I found that psychiatry was this perfect blend of interesting medicine constantly evolving as well as I can run a business and I can kind of control my own hours. Why should someone choose orthopedic surgery? Zachary Hertzworm, what do you think? Why should, why should someone choose orthopedic surgery? Why should someone choose orthopedic surgery? Yep. Because it's the most fun specialty. Most fun specialty. Like you. you don't feel like you're working? I don't feel like I'm working. I hear that, I hear that. Okay. Jonathan, what about you? Why, why should someone choose orthopedic surgery? <laughs> You're always working on spines. Yeah. What do you think? We, we're always happy because we love what we do. Love what we, we do. We not only help people, but we also, you know, we get to do something fun. We can use our hands, reduce fractures. Absolutely. Uh, we operate on people, and we get good results. Yeah. So he said we get good results. We're able to help people. We're able to use our hands. Um, and again, people, people are just so happy with their restoration of life, for sure. Why should someone choose your specialty? Well, gosh, I think that's an easy question because I love what I do, but I think if you, um, if you love the challenge of really complex you know, and technical operations and kind of a difficult patient population in terms of people who are really sick and kind of embracing the challenge of you know, really, really difficult disease processes, um, I think it's a great way to go. Uh -huh.